Isabella, the Whale Killer. Written by a year four child, aged eight to nine. Beneath the shimmering sea, there lived a family of killer whales. The youngest whale's name was Isabella. Isabella was very shy and scared of everything. Uh, she called her mum and dad, Ma and Pa, but she had two older sisters named Maya and Olivia. She also had one brother who was called Ben, and he was the oldest of them all. In the middle of a starry night, Isabella overheard Ma shriek. We're going to starve forever. Oh, unless someone agrees to cross the undertow uh, and then the rocks. Oh, our greatest enemy lives there. Oh, the fierce shark. Isabella dramatically burst into the room and she gurgled. We're going to starve forever. We're not going to starve forever, mumbled Pa. Uh, unless someone has to cross the undertow and the rocks and you know that our greatest enemy lives there, the shark. Oh, oh, please, can I do it? Pretty please, pleaded Isabella. And then her parents uh, talked and they said, OK, okay if, if you're, you're brave, brave enough. enough. Isabella shouted back, I am, I really am. She really wanted to make her parents proud and that is why she did it. The next morning, Isabella set off on her journey with great courage and a little nervousness. She kept on swimming until she reached the huge undertow, when suddenly thousands of stingrays came rushing past. But one of the stingrays' tails hit her on the head, and this made her decide to go back home. Once she arrived back home, she was talking funny. She asked her ma and pa, A, I am whale killer. Don't you mean, am I a killer whale? Because you're definitely not a whale killer. Mm. Isabella went to bed after that to have a rest. Next day, Isabella went back out. As she got closer to the undertow, the more she got scared again. After a while, uh, she finally reached the undertow, but waited for the stingrays to go past. But one of the stingrays came back. It was the one who had hit her on the head. He came back and he said, Sorry. Isabella replied, K.O. it's. Then he bellowed, Oh no, I did something terribly wrong, didn't I? K.O. It's bad nothing, it's, exclaimed Isabella. Phew, howled the stingray. The stingray allowed the whale to sit on his back, uh, and he took her to the edge of the undertow. When they got to the end, there indeed was a shark. The stingray hit the shark on the nose, and the shark swam away. So Isabella asked if the stingray could stay with her for a bit, but he couldn't because he needed to catch up with the others. So Isabella swam on alone. When she got to the rocks, the shark came back and she was really scared this time. The shark chased Isabella. She screamed. She was so scared that she would get eaten. But then Isabella remembered what the stingray had done. She turned around and she faced the shark. She jumped up and smacked it and hit it on the nose. The shark was so scared that it swam away. And after a while, she sighed to herself, Whew, that was a huge shark. Isabella searched over the huge rocks. She reached the end and finally saw a valley of delicious food. She scrambled home. And when she got there, she shouted, I found a valley of food. And then she screamed again, I'm talking all right. Isabella and her family moved to the valley and they never ran out of food again, until dot, dot, dot. <laughs>